inflation, concerns about recession, have both advisors and investors a little concerned right now. What can advisors do to allay those fears and keep you on the straight and narrow? I'm joined today by Dodd Kitsley from Davis to discuss just that. Hey Dodd, welcome. Thanks so much for having us. So Dodd, where do things stand right now? How are investors feeling with roller coaster markets happening? Well, there is, uh, as they say, unprecedented uncertainty in the market and all of the concerns that you just outlaid, plus maybe a few more, uh, are uh, top of mind of advisors and it's really creating an environment where emotion can wreak havoc on your investment results and your investment portfolio. So we're seeing advisors adding so much value in helping clients control those emotions and not make irrational decisions for the long-term plans. Emotion and irrationality are hard to kind of set back because everyone hears the word recession and immediately their mind takes them back to 2008 and that moment, right, where maybe they had a parent or someone lose a house or, and so they hear recession and immediately there's worries. How do you get them past their past experiences and into better behavior? I think it's, it's putting into perspective that crises are common, they're inevitable, they're the constant. I mean, you just think back in recent history, 9-11, Gulf War, going back for the presidential assassinations, oil embargo. Uh, we just got went through two black swan events back to back in terms of COVID and now the Ukraine war and supply chain, all of those sort of things. But I think helping folks really put in context that crises are inevitable, uh, they're unpleasant, uh, but they're part of the market. And as a result, we're gonna see sell-offs in the market, which are very much commonplace over the short term. But by staying the course and being invested in durable, well-managed businesses with strong cash flows, it creates an enormous opportunity. I think helping people understand that we have 5% corrections on average over the last 80 years, three times a year. 10% corrections once every year, and 20% corrections every three years. So this is not anything new, yet people still overreact because you anchor in the present, or to your point, the recent memory, right. and that really allows fear to wreak havoc. Okay. As humans, we have a recency bias, like things are going well, I remember when things were good. So if the only certainty is uncertainty, how can you as an advisor keep everybody calm so they don't make irrational decisions? It's, it, it's, it's really just setting those expectations, yes. right? That bad things happen, right? Bad things happen and we gotta prepare for it. We can't ever predict it. That's one of our sayings at Davis is we can prepare, we can't predict. We don't do market forecasts, we don't figure out, try to figure out where interest rates are gonna be six months from now. That really doesn't matter. While those are important questions, they're unknowable. We focus more on the important questions that are knowable, you know, in expecting volatility and putting that in the context of the stocks, the portfolios, the investments that you put in place to be able to withstand that and be able to make it out the other side. Uh, and with all of this uncertainty, it does create tremendous opportunity as investors and particularly active investors because what we're seeing is such a divergence in terms of price versus value in the stock market. Uh, this, this dispersion, whether it's growth and value, whether it's within growth and value, we see tremendous amount of opportunity and it's generally where people see risk uh, and where we see risk is often where people feel very, very comfortable. So it's a very interesting time, but a time where advisors can add a tremendous amount of value yes. by just having their, their, their clients be very calm and expect the unexpected. So last question. Sure. They, it's a good time to add that tremendous amount of value. What is your message then to clients to keep them on the calm path and keep them moving forward even when the easiest thing to do is to cringe and hide under a rock and abandon all things? Well, I often hear there's no place to hide in the market. Right. Fixed income, cash, equities, you know, there's, equities is still remains the best, best game in town. It really, really does. Uh, and in terms of really compounding and building wealth, 
equities is certainly uh, the place to be, but to be very, very selective. I mean, we got to recognize that we've been in this kind of largely momentum-based bull market for the last decade that we've all benefited from. You know, the rising tide lifted all boats, but we know that there are decade periods where the market as a whole will remain flat, yet there are huge, huge opportunities there. So I'd say really understand what you own, look at businesses that are well managed, that are durable, trading at attractive valuations because they're out there uh, and you're going to be well suited for the long term. Opportunities are out there. Dodd, great conversation. Thanks so much for your insights. Really appreciate being here. Hey, for Advisorpedia, I'm Matt Ackerman.